at the sun and the sand of Long Beach, California with this, an excellent 1974 Triumph TR6. And I don't own it. I rented this car. How? HaggertyDriveShare.com is a new program created by the classic car insurance giant. Think of it as like Airbnb for interesting cars. You can rent everything from a military Jeep to a classic sports car all the way up to a new Ferrari if you really want. Prices range from $85 on the low end way up to like in the thousands for the really, really high end stuff. This car I rented for about $200 a day. Now the TR6 was the six cylinder version of Triumph's popular TR series of cars. It was replaced by the TR7, which most people don't like as much. Under the hood is a 2.5 liter straight six. It makes 104 horsepower and about 130 pound-feet of torque, but it sounds awesome. It's not a rocket ship. You're not gonna drag race Corvettes, but it's pretty fast compared to a lot of the other four-cylinder sports cars of the period. It's a big, powerful, torquey straight six, and this one has a cam, so it really likes to wind up into the upper rev range. My favorite part about the car is the sound. This thing sounds like a mini E-Type when you run it through the gears. It also handles great. The ergonomics are an absolute joke. I don't know if Triumph knew what people were shaped like in 1974, but they certainly didn't care if they did. The steering wheel, I could turn with my elbows if I wanted to. It's right in your chest. And even with my tiny size nine feet, I'm stepping all over myself trying to heel and toe this thing. But it's a ton of fun. However, this is round two. And if you're eagle-eyed, you might notice there's a puddle of something under the car. I picked it up a few days ago and actually ended up on the side of the road overheated and had to get a flatbed to take this car all the way back home. Honestly, I should have known better. There was nothing wrong with the car, but these old British cars aren't really made for LA gridlock. And that's the thing. You can rent any car you want. You can rent a 1934 Model A that can only go 35 miles an hour. You can rent a supercar that maybe you can't go over any driveways with. And honestly, it's an inconvenience. However, you can rent a normal boring car anytime you want. So if you can rent something out of the ordinary that makes you smile, that makes people stop and stare, a car you've always wanted to drive, Maybe it's worth a little inconveniences. For Driving.ca in Long Beach, California, I'm Clayton Seams. Yeah, actually it broke down again. We made it a mile and a half from where you last saw us. It's an adventure. <laughs>